being held on an outstanding warrant, and as this investigation into the homicide continues, it's anticipated that additional charges will be lodged uh, against the suspect. Uh, I have uh, very little additional information at this time, just to simply tell you that the State Police Major Crime Squad is continuing to process the crime scene. We'll gather all physical and forensic evidence at that crime scene. Uh, we'll work with the state's attorney and prepare and lodge additional charges in the not too distant future. Very uh, brief questions I'll take. How, how did you locate him, Lieutenant? Was it something he's at a place that he you know, is familiar with? Or? No, he was located using, uh, uh, just simply say, using technology and uh, law enforcement information that we had available to us, uh, working with uh, local PDs, uh, the FBI, uh, as well as intelligence state police were able to uh, to locate the subject and take him into custody. It's important to note that the public and the media was very, very helpful in getting this information out. That was helpful to us in this investigation and successfully locating this suspect. And the most important part was taking him into custody uh, without any violence and without any incident. The commercial establishment, can you tell us a little more about where he was taken into custody? Just at the, end, at the end of Route 8, again, at the end of Route 8, there are many commercial establishments there, uh, eateries, local eateries. Uh, he was located at uh, one of those eateries by troopers, was taken into custody without incident. Was his vehicle, there? Was the, uh, was his vehicle there, the Toyota? He was, he was in the vehicle, was taken into custody by troopers at that location. As far as weapons and other things, I don't have that information. He's taken into custody safely. Um, he's in our custody and we'll be processing that vehicle and certainly looking for additional evidence and information. This warrant that you're holding him on, what's the, what's the charge? I don't have the charge. It's misdemeanor charges right now. Okay. Any idea on the former, former warrant, the one before today? That's the one we're talking about. Oh, There's only one warrant, and uh, that's as a result of a, uh, an investigation that was done by the Oxford Resident Troopers Office that resulted in the application of an arrest warrant for the subject. Uh, that warrant was issued by the court. That's the warrant that he's being held on has been lodged against him at this point in time. Can you tell us, was there a restraining order ever in, in this situation? I don't have any knowledge of a restraining order, but again, it's very early in the investigation. I think what's important here, and everyone has to understand, was uh, this was a very tragic, very violent situation. Uh, certainly, we, we, we wanted to control the scene. We wanted to get as much information as we could, and we had immediately identified a suspect, and that was our main focus. So that's, that's why I don't have a lot of the extra information available because our main focus was certainly to locate this suspect, take him into custody safely, and, 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 and certainly end any potential violence. How about the other two children? I know there were toddlers in the home, but the other two children, where are they? Two toddlers are all I'm familiar with that were in the house at the time and they've been working with DCF and be, being placed with family. Are the toddlers related to the suspect? Toddlers related to, I don't know, yeah, I believe so, but I, I don't have, I don't have any of that detail right now. Can they tell us why the schools were in lockdown, the water the other Again, it's, it's important, and, I, and I, I can't state this enough, whenever we follow a lead in any location, any jurisdiction whatsoever, we make sure that the local authorities, including school officials, are aware that we're following a lead. Again, everyone knows this was a very violent case, uh, hence it was the decisions of the local authorities to most of the time put the school in a soft lockdown. In other words, they're aware of the situation. They monitor the school a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more actively with local law enforcement. Okay? Are you concerned that anybody else was injured or do you have just the two victims? Again, if there was any others, I would announce that. There simply are the two victims, uh, the deceased and uh, Ms. Jackson, who's presently in serious condition at St. Mary's. Can we get the spelling on her name? I heard it was M-E-R-R-Y, not M-A-R-Y. Uh, I don't have it. I'll put it out in writing. All right. Put it what out is the pre-existing warrant charging him? You'll have to check with the court on that. I don't. I don't have that. Do you know if the children saw what happened? I couldn't tell you. I don't. Neighbors know. talk about prior domestic incidents at the house. Can you talk about any history there prior to with the suspect and the victim? We have been to that residence once or twice in the past, uh, but with nothing on a regular basis. It was once, one or two times in the past when uh, we hadn't been, been there. We, we heard okay. that she uh, was getting threatening phone calls from him. Um, some of her friends were getting threats. Did you hear anything like this? I have not heard anything about okay. that at all. Okay, and that's uh, that's really all I have for you.